Hrnčiarová. Pozor. Vivo.
ceremony, did you ever imagine you'd make it this far? The OU is the UK's largest university. A world-leading university. With over 250,000 students a year. More than 1.7 million people have studied with the Open University. Our university has been in the top three universities for student satisfaction since 2005. The OU helps you get on in your career and deliver skills across all sectors in the economy. Did you know that OU is recognised for its world leading research portfolio? Research that focuses on real world challenges. Working with the BBC, the OU produces fantastic TV and radio programmes that inspire others to learn. We're also leaders in the delivery of online learning resources, freely available to all. This is your day to judge.
by the authority given in the statutes of the Open University, I declare this congregation open for the conferment of degrees and the presentation of graduates. Distinguished guests, graduates, and friends of the university, it's my privilege and pleasure to welcome you all to the 10th of the Open University's degree ceremonies being held in 2013. We're delighted to welcome the Mayor of Brighton, and Brighton and Hove, Councillor Bill Randall, and also Mrs. Linda Healy from West Sussex County Council, uh, both of whom have found time in their very, very busy diaries to be with us today. This year, the Open University has awarded 12,800 degrees, and more than 6,500 of the graduates are being presented for their awards at degree ceremonies such as this one today in Brighton, and they're also being held in 13 different towns and cities throughout the UK, as well as in Dublin, in Versailles, and in other places as far apart as Moscow, Bucharest, and Addis Ababa. This illustrates the extraordinary scale, scope, and reach of the Open University, underlining the fact that today we're joining a worldwide community of graduates. Well, it goes without saying that today is a very important occasion in the life of you, our graduates, your families, and your loved ones, as well as the university staff, uh, who I hope you will feel have nurtured and supported you. You could be forgiven for feeling that the occasion so important as this needs to be solemn. Well, you're really wrong in that. In every sense, this is a day of celebration. So we'll be very disappointed if anyone comes to the stage today to anything less than thunderous applause or whatever way you choose to express your enthusiasm and support. With that in mind, why don't all of today's graduates briefly stand and join me in expressing your thanks to all those in the audience who've helped and supported you on what must have felt like a long and arduous academic journey.
Pro Vice Chancellor, we now come to the part of today's ceremony that marks the presentation of graduates who have gained a first degree and have been able to attend here today. The full subject and classification details are printed in the Directory of Graduates. I present to you the degree of Bachelor of Arts with First Class Honours, Maria Alonso Rodriguez. Janice Almonier. <laughs> Sue Baston. <laughs> Annabelle Bellingham. <laughs> Alexandra Boniface. Cherry Davis. <laughs> Rosvita Dolstra. <laughs> Dan Golding. <laughs> David Hall. Kelly Hayton. <laughs> Martin Hayton. <laughs> Edward Russell. Jennifer Tilson. Andres Toro. Julian Wilson. Louisa Wilson. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts with <laughs> Honours, I present Jeffrey Allen.
Patricia James. Zoe Joyce. Tommy Newman.